Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. How do I get thicker hair with little money? Well, here's how. Okay, I'm not promising any huge changes, but I have experienced thicker hair through doing these measures and it all starts in the shower. Okay, so you have probably been washing your hair every single day. If you're a guy and you've got short hair and you're washing that product out, try and rethink how you're washing your hair. You don't need to be washing it as much as what you're washing it at all. Try and switch up to a sulfate-free shampoo. Now, often these can be a little bit expensive, but if you shop around online, you can get yourself a really great sulfate-free shampoo and conditioner. I really recommend the Organics Biotin and Collagen shampoo in like the short stubby bottles. Really, really great. It's a sulfate-free shampoo and conditioner. So you're gonna to start to eliminate some of those nasties off of your scalp. Now you don't need to be doing that every single day. I would try it first to do every other day because if you've been washing your hair, every single day for years on end it's going to be a huge change to you. Try and find a style like what I'm rocking at the moment and that's going to make your hair look, yeah, a little bit sleek and completely probably what you're not used to but it's going to hide any sort of oiliness or any elements like that at all because you can add a bit of product in there. It sounds a bit icky but it's going to be much much better for your scalp. Talking about scalp, the next thing I absolutely recommend for thicker hair growth or for looking really cutting, starting to get to the core of really hoping to grow thicker hair is scalp massage. Probably something you've never even thought about at all. Taking a moment, I'd say two, three minutes a day whilst you're in the shower, possibly if you're gonna continue washing your hair every day, or even when you're not, just take a few couple of moments and really invigorate and massage that scalp. Get those temples, uh, often in the scalp areas and in the, in the top of the head, you know where stereotypically men tend to go a little bit more thinner, the whole scalp area and really take time, two, three minutes and really don't go crazy, don't be pushing really hard on your scalp at all, just be really careful and just take your time with it because that's really going to get those blood flow pumping to those follicles, you're going to get that blood flow really getting there, all those rich nutrients in the blood and it's going to really start to make an effect. Now it's going to take a couple of weeks before you can see that and often what will first happen is you'll start to see more hair come through. And I don't see, I don't mean growing through, you'll start to see a little bit more hair fall. Now that's just because you're loosening up those follicles and you're getting things moving around. Don't be alarmed at this because what's going to happen is you're going to start to get your scalp into a routine of much more oxygen rich blood pumping those nutrients there as well. So you're going to start to see a bit more of effect there. With the right shampoo and conditioner sulfate free, you're going to really start to see some benefits. Okay, so let's move on to you. If you're stuck in a nine to five job which you don't really enjoy or you've been blessed in this life and you're doing something which you enjoy and you love, then either way you're going to be stressed, I imagine, one time or another. We all are. Hair loss and hair thinning, or even if you've just been not blessed with the thickest head of hair, stress can play a huge culprit in the advances of hair thinning or even if you've just got pretty damn right fine see-through hair which can still look pretty cool and really, really amazing. Take time for just a couple of minutes a day, even if it's just something of reading, if it's something as breathing. What I like to do is take a moment, close my eyes, think about a real happy thought and just breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Time yourself for five minutes, then when that goes off, you've done your mindfulness, you've done your switching off of stress. Short, small changes make huge, big differences. Now, talking about yourself, diet. Now, whatever you're putting into your system, okay, is going to be the expression of your hair. Sounds silly, sounds strange? Think about it. I truly do believe that your hair is the inner expression of good health. So what you're putting on the inside, okay, you're going to see on the outside, to be quite honest with you. So if you've been having one or two extra drinks, let's put it that way, or you like to indulge in fast food, that's absolutely okay, but little and moderation. You can enjoy anything in this life in moderation. And if you're sat there thinking, I've really been overdoing it lately, then really tone it back. Now the things what's gonna be great for your hair is probably what you're pushing to the side of your plate. Dark green vegetables, anything which is sort of rooted vegetables, those dark green vegetables, those things which take us a little bit irony, you know what I'm talking about, there's Brussels sprouts, dark green cabbage, kale, those type of things are gonna be really, really great for your hair. Then start incorporating these things into your diet. If you go out for a meal, opt for salads, small changes, small things like that. Increase a few more vegetables on your plate of an evening. Have a few pieces of fruit throughout the day as a snack or even just a healthy breakfast. And you will feel the difference because these foods are not high in fat. They're not high in sugar. They are natural elements which are going to start to make you feel healthier. And ultimately, whatever you're putting in your body, which is healthier, you're going to see healthier skin, a healthier complexion, and hopefully, fingers crossed, healthy hair growth. I can't guarantee this is going to work for you, but it will certainly make a difference. Again, with stress, these things aren't going to change overnight, but they are certainly going to help you if you keep doing them. So I urge you, give these options a try. And they are options because, of course, 
it's up to you if you want to follow these, but I absolutely promise you, you will see a difference in your hair. I just want to take a last couple of seconds just to make it make you aware that actually how you style your hair is vitally important as well. If you've got thin, thinning hair or see-through hair to the point where it's really, really thin, it can still look really, really cool and amazing with the right haircut. So have a word with your barber and let them suggest some suggestions and stay stay away from those thoughts that I'm just going to grow and grow and grow my hair or I'm never going to change my hair again because changing up styles just ultimately offer so much when you are trying to achieve a thicker head of hair. I hope this helps and if you have any questions please leave the comments down below and I do my utmost to get back to you and have a look through my channel. There's loads of things on my channel all about growing thicker hair and I review lots of products. It doesn't have to cost a penny the things which we've gone through today but of course if you've got a little bit it doesn't have to be expensive. All right okay thanks very much for joining me here and until next time I'll be seeing you real soon. Bye now.